Scott Beagle. He was a geography teacher who died protecting his students. And she has a question for Dana. Linda. Dana, the Second Amendment was ratified in 1791. The Declaration of Independence was written in 1776, which gave my son the unalienable right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So I ask you, why are my son's unalienable rights not protected as fiercely as the right to bear arms? I'm sorry for what you experienced. And I'm not going to, as I said, I, I've, I'm a parent, but I have not been in this position. And it, as a parent, it terrifies me. To be honest with you, it's it's terrifying. Now you asked whether it's a life or, or firearms or life or Second Amendment thing. I think that all life should be protected. All life should be protected. That's why next week there's going to be good guys with guns that are going to be in school protecting lives, just as there's armed security here. We are in the presence of firearms protecting lives. This isn't a you, if you believe in your right to self-defense, you hate kids. Or if you believe in your right to self-defense, you don't believe that people have the right to live. That's not what this issue is. This issue is about making sure that we're protecting innocent lives. No innocent lives should be lost. None of them should. When the Second Amendment was ratified, they were talking about muskets. We're not talking about musket. We're talking about assault weapons. We're talking about weapons that of mass destruction that kill people. On that issue, at the time, there were fully automatic firearms that were available, the Belton gun and the Puckle gun. And in fact, the Continental Congress reviewed a purchase of one of those firearms Does for the... Does it make it right? Well, what I'm saying is there was more than just muskets available. We don't say that no one has a right to free speech because of Twitter or social media. But the point that you, that you raised, and I think it's a good one, and I know what you're saying. And believe me, I, I understand that. I think all innocent life should be protected. I don't think that you should have ever had to gone through that. If I could change time and change circumstances, I would have done everything in my power to prevent that. I think you have that power. Sheriff, did you want to wait?